Hey, it's Brett with Complete Trailers. Today we're taking a look at an 8.5 by 16 concession trailer. Now we've got three split awning doors. We're going to show you how all that goes together here in just a moment. When it comes to vending trailers, there are vast differences throughout the country in terms of quality and craftsmanship. It's up to you, the consumer, to do all your research up front to make sure you're getting the best quality product for the money that you're spending on it. We also rely on our customers to get us the health department regulations and requirements in your locality. Now, where you are operating, that is the county in which you're gonna be selling your product, is going to be requiring certain things for the trailer. We need to know that. There is no general health department regulation. There is no general electrical codes. Certain states are different and more strict than others. For example, Minnesota, California, have far more strict regulations that we would need to conform to in order to make your trailer problem-free going down the road. What we hear all too often is that customers purchase a concession trailer, they bring it back to their locality, and they have to rip out all of the wiring or all the plumbing because it didn't conform to what their state requirements are. So please get us that. We're happy to help you sift through that information. On this trailer, we've got three awning doors. Now these are split awnings where there's a piano hinge and part of it will fold up and create a marquee for you. You've seen some of our other solid awning door models. Well, this is a split awning with a marquee with some Lexon pie signs. We're gonna show you how that all goes together here. But there are simple latches on the outside of the window. You use a padlock to lock that in place. And to open up, you just simply undo your latch and then you can lift up your window. The awning doors are powered by gas shocks. So when you undo the latch here, it's just gonna simply open up like you see here. So you do that on all three sides and you'll be set to set up the marquee awning that will show you how that goes together here in just a moment. The Lexon Pi connectors here that connect all of the awnings together offer a great opportunity to put some signage or some different graphics up here displaying your business. So we're going to show you how those all go together. It's best really to have two people and a ladder to set this up. Not that it couldn't be done with just one person. Certainly a lot easier with two. Here's what the trailer looks like when it's completely set up. We've got our three marquee awnings uh, all ready to go. We've got our exterior countertops that are held into place by these prop rods underneath. And of course, our glass and screen packages for our serving windows. There are different window configurations for those windows. Doesn't cost anything more. You just have to let us know. We can send those over to you for your review uh, upon order, as well as different sizes of trailers. This is one of the best floor plans when it comes to vending, depending on the events that you go to. And this gives you a good 180 view, 180 degree view of the trailer with serving windows on all three sides. On the passenger side of the trailer, you've got your dump valve and your water intakes here. This is how you fill up the water tanks that are built into the uh, sink package on the inside. There's also a slider window with a screen that's mounted directly over the sink, so you've got additional viewing to see what's going on on this side of the trailer. We've got our entrance door, which is a solid RV door with a window and a screen mounted right over the tongue. So you just simply open up. If it's a nice, cool day, you can open up and have your screen door open and just prop the door open so that you can have nice airflow. Here's a better look at what it feels like on an eight and a half wide, 16 foot long trailer. Now your serving area is comprised of this. We've got a drop floor in the rear that puts you more eye level with your customers. So you're talking to your customers here and you're more eye level, but you're also not breaking your back all day long by bending over and talking and giving and receiving uh, cash in your product. Now the three serving areas, perhaps you're taking orders here, taking orders there, you're picking up over here, or whatever your idea is, this is a perfect setup for your situation. Now the materials inside this trailer are comprised of this, marble linoleum flooring, vinyl walls, vinyl ceiling, aluminum cabinetry with a three basin sink package and a separate hand wash. Now your locality might require drain boards. We can accommodate that. You might prefer to have coin rubber flooring. Got it. We've put that in for you. Uh, instead of a vinyl, we can put in white aluminum as well. Now the electrical package comes with some fluorescent lighting, a roof vent, which of course you can drop an AC unit in there as well, as well as your breaker box here. Now receptacles throughout, that's all run 110 volt. So you have to take your electrical cord that we give you 
you plug one end into the trailer and the other end into your power source to power the trailer, either shore power or generator. That's all run through the breaker box that's gonna power the whole system here. Now underneath the sink package, we've got your water heater, water tank. Your gray water tank is underneath the trailer, so there's some storage underneath, but not a ton, as well as overhead cabinetry. So we left this uh, intentionally open here on this side of the wall because we figured you probably want to put a refrigerator or some other piece of equipment in this particular area here. So you enter, enter in, sinks here, and your equipment over on this side. 